the Good Witch's Guide, a modern day Wikipedia of magical ingredients and spells by Sean Robbins and Charity Bedell. And focus. Yeah, but they have like Wikipedia with like Wicca in it, but <laughs> So You got some interesting like uses of like artwork and Done in here with, like randomly threw out like old images and stuff So this is a hard copy with like gold civil gold and silver like foil on the cover and it is kind of like hand size kind of thick so you can call it almost like it's not like pocket sized but a very small kind of book you do get from the edges of the pages here like a purple like kind of like spine there so and like for me it is more of like quick information quick lists of stuff so and like it isn't the end all be all of spell books but it does give a introduction like in my mind an introduction to different areas of work or to different like spells one could do and there's a few different like uh pieces of advice advice from other people like con contributors in in here so you do get some information like information like consequence and personal gain and you you do get like a little bit of history like a word about safety path openings so and like this is what i'm talking about like quick information is that you get like, say, you get the word and you get a few different words attached to that. Uh, attached to that certain ingredient or color or whatever. But like, there are areas where they go a little bit, they do talk a little bit more about that certain thing. So, like, they do talk a little bit about, like, dandelions there. But a lot of the things that they mention are like this, where it is they have the item and then keywords attached to that thing. Like, uh, this is from the aromatherapy section. Lime reveals fatigue, uplifts mood, naturally disinfects, improves mental clarity and memory. Mandarin reduces stress and tension, calms, uplifts mood. So you get that for pretty much all everything like this that they do, like that they set up, that they talk about. And they do have things about like safety and and that and then information slash history about the topic or the subject that they're going into and then you get into stuff like this spells um some of them are set up like this where you just get the name of the spell and then the ingredients but like this is for like aromatherapy and then so some have like some sort of introduction to it and then they have like the recipe of the spell 
And then when they get into different spells, yeah, so like these ones, you get the title of the spell, some introduction, the ingredients, what you need, and then how to do it. So, and so you get like stuff like this from like different other different people. Or they'll have like, this is just information page, but sometimes they'll have like the contributors doing like pages like that. So, and so quick and easy crystal water spells. So you have that kind of thing. And like a quick introduction to the chakras. And so it doesn't go in depth as some people would want um, it to go into. Like if you wanted to know a lot about chakras, this isn't the book for it or crystals or aromatherapy or whatever. This is just give, giving you a small, <coughs> a small handful of spells to do. And then go into like stuff like candles and then spiritual alchemy and holistic enlightenment. And so you do get randomly chunks of information like in between the spell work. So it isn't here like first half of the book is information and the second half is the spells. You're going in and out of that but it's pretty much set up like the first little bit that I showed you and so like again you're getting information it's in you you do kind of get like information overload here's some spells information overload here's some spells and like they, they do have some recipes and um Now, you do get some sources, resources, like supplies and suppliers, recommended reading and reference material. So, like, you do get that. So, if you do want further reading, there is a small selection of books or, like, websites to go to that you can have a further look to start um, your research. Like if you wanted to know about herbalism or essential oils, crystals, they do have a few a few categories to have a look into. So at least there is some sort of, hey, if you want to know more, here's a start starting base. It's not like 20 pages of like resources or whatever. And so like for some what's in here may be all the reference material that they would need but it is like for me i for some of the stuff i already have in other in other sources so like it was just something I had picked up at my library and had a look at and so for some this might be like the book of information and spells where it starts out for them and it would be the book where they like experiment with their spells or whatever but yeah uh, The Good Witch's Guide by Sean Robbins and Charity Bedell. Happy readings.